Okay, dear students, good evening. We are back again. In the earlier video, you saw the poem explanation, Amanda. Okay, now this particular video is about the figures of speech that you have in this poem. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, whichever line has, uh, whichever figures of speech, I'm going to tell you that. And also I'm going to explain you why is that figures of speech associated with that particular line. I am sure you have seen the video and you are quite thorough with the understanding of it. Okay. Once the understanding is done, definitely now you can jump on to the understanding of the figures of speech also. Because each line has its own depth meaning. Okay. So let us start understanding what figures of speech, uh, you know, these lines have. Okay. So the very first line says, don't bite your nails, Amanda. Don't hunch your shoulders, Amanda. Okay. So it is a repetition. Okay, the figures of speech is repetition. Why? Because there is this repetition of the word don't. Okay, in these two lines there is the repetition of the word called don't. And that is the reason why the figures of speech is repetition. While you are seeing this video, you can also note down somewhere in your notebook. So that in your future reference you may take it as a help. Next, stop that slouching and sit up straight. This figures of speech is alliteration. Okay, and there is also one more figures of speech which we call it as antithesis. Why it is alliteration? Because the repetition of the sound S. S. Okay, there is this repetition of the sound S. That's why we call it as the alliteration. And why is it antithesis? Let us see. Okay, because it has two opposite words given in the same line. Slouching and what? sit up straight slouching means what slouching we had sitting in a lazy manner sitting and sit up straight okay so those are the both opposite words and that's why the figures of speech is antithesis okay one is alliteration and the second one is antithesis i hope i'm making it very clear all right then there is this another line called there is a language emerald sea okay there is this language emerald See, again there are two figures of speech. First is personification because this inanimate object called C okay, has been given the human attribute, human quality of being language. What does language mean? Language means slow moving. So moving is the characteristic of human. But here moving is referred to the C. And that's why the figures of speech is personification first. Second, metaphor. Why? Because here the sea is compared with emerald is a precious stone. Okay, emerald sea. Okay, so it is compared with the precious stone called emerald. The sea is compared with the precious stone called emerald. And that's why it is also a metaphor. Okay, I hope you are clear with this. Next, did you finish your homework, Amanda? Did you tidy your room, Amanda? Okay, now here the figures of speech is very simple. The figures of speech is repetition and why repetition the figures of speech is repetition because it has the words which are repeated called did you okay and your okay these are the words which are repeated and amanda is also the word which is repeated okay so the repetition of the word we call it figures of speech as the repetition i hope i'm making it very clear next i thought i told you to clean your room i thought I told you to clean your shoes, not room, of course, I'm sorry. The figures of speech here is alliteration, okay? Why alliteration? Because the sound T, told, thought, T is repeated. And that's why this is figures of speech called alliteration. I hope I'm making it very clear to you. Then, I am an orphan roaming the street. I am an orphan roaming the street. Here again, there are two figures of speech. First is metaphor and the second one is metonymy. Why metaphor? Because there is an indirect comparison of Amanda being an orphan. Okay. It also talks about the loneliness. Okay. To stay alone. Okay. So here uh, it is metaphor because Amanda is compared with an orphan. Okay. Or Amanda talks about being an orphan. Okay. So it's a metaphor. It talks about the quality or not rather quality but it talks about uh, how to be alone. Okay. Second, it is metonymy because here the street refers to the entire whole town or a city. Okay, a tiniest part refers to the whole. 
okay street refers to the entire city and entire town okay that's why it is referred as the metonym so two figures of speech in this particular line is quite clear first is metaphor and second is metonymy okay in which line i am an orphan roaming the street okay next i pattern the soft dust with my hushed bare feet there is this figure of speech called transfer happy then okay why because here uh, you know the adjective hushed okay which of course you know uh, passes on from the person to the feet who is an orphan amanda okay so definitely uh, it talks about uh, an adjective called hushed okay and it uh, you know transfers from the person to her feet hushed uh, to the feet okay i hope this uh, figure of speech is clear to you it is transferred every that because it talks about the adjective hushed from the person to her feet okay transferred epithet all right then the silence is golden the freedom is sweet no doubt it is a metaphor because the silence is uh, compared with golden being golden and uh, the freedom is compared with sweet okay and that's why the figures of speech is metaphor i hope i'm making it very clear okay next will you please look at me when i'm speaking at you okay here there are two figures of speech again it's repetition and interrogation why repetition because the repetition of the word called you will you please look at me when i'm speaking to you so the repetition of the word called you is repeated and that's why it is which figures of speech repetition now interrogation why interrogation because interrogation the question is asked but without any kind of expectation of the answer how i will read the line again please focus it says will you please look at me when i'm speaking to you yes without any kind of interrogation mark still it is a question but without any kind of expectation of the answer okay and that's why it is what kind of figures of speech interrogation as well so two figures of speech in this particular line first is repetition and second is interrogation okay then i am rapunzel i have not care here again there are two figures of speech first is metaphor and second is litotus why metaphor because here amanda is indirectly compared to being rapunzel okay it talks about both were being lonely okay both were lonely and that's the reason why it talks about the comparison between amanda and rapunzel the quality which you know uh, suffice both of them is loneliness and that's why the figures of speech is metaphor and now why lizard is because it has a negation but with a strong positive outcome how she says i have not a care that means she is carefree we cannot say that she is careless but she is carefree okay that means she is least bothered about anything else okay so it's the negation but with a positive meaning and that's why it has a figures of speech called little bits so this line called i am rapunzel i have not a care has two figures of speech first is metaphor and second is little bits okay then stop that sulking at once amanda it is alliteration the figures of speech is alliteration because again the sound sir is being repeated stop that sulking at once amanda sir stop sir sulking sir so the repetition of the sound sir okay then the last anyone would think that i nagged at you okay this figures of speech is irony okay i'll repeat the sentence again and you will understand why it is irony it says anyone would think i nagged at you so here the irony says that even though the speaker does not believe that uh, you know she is nagging at amanda okay but and she also says that you know everyone would feel that she is nagging okay she is of course nagging but she makes sure that uh, you know she doesn't feel that she is nagging at amanda so it's an irony okay because that is what exactly she has been doing all the time with all those stanza that we learned okay from the side of the elderly member of the mother what we knew was she was totally nagging at amanda okay but here the irony says though she is nagging at her but she wants to say that and everyone would feel that she is nagging at her okay so it is totally ironic because this is what she has been doing all the time so this is what the figures of speech 
is and this is what uh, these are the figures of speech is in this particular poem i hope you have understood this poem along with the figures of speech if you have not understood any particular line or any particular figures of speech you can rewind this video again and you can have a clear understanding of this particular poem figures of speech okay thank you so much keep watching this video goodbye